particularly excited and delighted this morning for the singular privilege of hosting the number one citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mr. President, is here. Our friends from the international community are here. The presence of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari gives us tremendous pleasure because it is one of these singular acts of consistency in the support to bring Borno State back to complete normality. The President has been with us from the beginning in line with his promise and has not even for once relented in the push to get Borno State back on its feet. Mr. President, on behalf of the government and people of Borno State, I wish to express my profound appreciation to you for the following impactful and forward-looking projects. The establishment of the Northeast Development Commission, the approval, initiation, and establishment of 50 megawatt power generation plant, which is nearing completion to provide electricity to Borno State. The recent approval of 15 billion naira for the repatriation of our citizens from the Northeast living in Chad, Niger, and Cameroon as a result of the displacement caused by the insurgency. These are remarkable actions that supersedes many other initiatives in our recent history. I want to take this opportunity yet again to appreciate Mr. President for considering it worthy to grasp this occasion personally. We thank you for your contributions, ideas, suggestions, and leadership in the war against terror, particularly in this part of the country, the Northeast. Mr. President is here with us today to start up the activities that we have lined up to mark the World Humanitarian Day as part of our recognition of the immense contributions to the humanitarian workers, to the peace, stability, and resilience of Borno State, and indeed the northeast of Nigeria since the beginning of the insurgency. For those who may not be familiar with this occasion, the World Humanitarian Day is commemorated every year on 19th of August to fair tribute to humanitarian workers killed and injured in the course of their work and to honor all the aid and health workers who continue, despite the odds, to provide life-saving support and protection to people most in need. Today, Mr. President has commissioned one of our projects to mark this year's remembrance. The projects are the project is the Bulumkutu Teachers Quarters along Yaford Road, which should be allocated to teachers that have suffered as a result of the insurgency. And then the President will also commission our 500 low cost housing estate for the internally displaced persons IDP, IDPs, constructed by the Borno State Government with, the, with full support from the federal government of Nigeria. These projects align with Mr. President's commitment to promoting the development of infrastructure and education across Nigeria. We believe that decent housing and quality education is a right for the citizens of Borno and all Nigerians as a whole. We want to move beyond the horrors of insurgency, to build back better, to be more resilient, to create a future, a future we wish to be quite to our children and holding beautiful before our very eyes. Our efforts in this direction receive support from many areas. For this reason, Borno State appreciates the international community, the development partners, and all international and national non-governmental organizations who have been here helping us and supporting the effort to give people hope in the midst of the great misery brought about by the insurgency. We sincerely owe a debt of gratitude to the relative peace and stability that we have enjoyed and continue to enjoy to the courage dedication and sacrifices of our gallant soldiers, police, security agencies, the local vigilantes, CGTF, and the Joint Tax Force. I commend the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Social Development, the Northeast Development, Agent, Northeast Development Agency, NEMA, and Refugee Commission for their continued support. We appreciate the Nigerian Customs Service for their continued support to IDPs by providing food and non-food items for the people. The BSF has recently supported the government of Borno State in closing four of its IDPs at a cost of about 1.7 billion naira 
And this is very commendable. Your Excellency, I wish to bring to a kind notice that this brings to the conclusion the closure of all formal camps within my degree. Your Excellency, as the UN Resident Humanitarian Coordinator has said, there is no humanitarian solution to humanitarian problem. In view of this, the North State Government is determined to ensure to begin the closure of IDF camps outside my degree early next year, inshallah. This year, we shall complete closing all IDC camps within my degree. There is no way the good people of and government of Ornosa will not honor the memories of those who have died and appreciate the contributions of those that are still with us, given the enormity of the challenge that we have faced in our current history and the incredible dedication of the humanitarian community in helping us. At the peak of the insurgency, the international community rose to our aid and sent in men and materials to help us get through the darkest hours of our life. These brave men and women, humanitarian workers, went to places where even the bravest of us would fear to venture. The humanitarian workers were there in the rain, in the cold, in the dust, and in the most inaccessible places around us. Thank you for your contribution and help. As the world marks the World Humanitarian Day today, we, say, we pay special tribute to the humanitarian workers all over the world, but most especially those working in the Northeast, Borno and across troubled spots in Nigeria. We pay tribute to the scores of humanitarian workers who gave their lives and suffered injuries in the course of their work. Significantly for year 2022, the United Nations chose the team Real Life Heroes who can disagree? Humanitarian workers remain the true real life heroes for all of us. They are there in the thick and thin of the challenges that people face. When the problems were further compounded by the COVID 19 pandemic, they did not give up the state to continue helping people. The world is in their need of the real time heroes in governance, real time heroes as private citizens, real time heroes in our spheres of influence, real time heroes go over and beyond themselves to do things that will make the world a better place. Heroes don't do things because they are easy. They do things because they are necessary. Real heroes are the trail bladders of peace, prosperity, equity, fairness, and social cohesion wherever they find themselves. We must as leaders strive and, and be deliberate in our quest for world peace. We must learn from the lessons of the past and avoid opening new fronts of man-made humanitarian disasters brought about by war, strife, inordinate ambition to conquer and keep fellow human beings in such human situations. From the north to the south, this is an occasion to foster peace amongst all men, amongst all races and nations of the world. Our collective survival depends on collaboration, coordination and concerted efforts in making the world a better place for everyone. Experience has shown that together we can overcome many challenges through the indefatigable human capacity for survival, resilience and collective resolve to be better. We should therefore be deliberate in addressing the root causes of the humanitarian disasters, including concerted efforts to deal with the ever-changing climate, inequality, threats, and the perception of threats that could lead to unprovoked ag aggression. The consequences of inaction will be patterned. Consequently, whatever you do, be the real-life hero to the world around you, one act of kindness at the time. Mr. President, sir, while we acknowledge all your support, it is our kind request that you direct all relevant MDS to provide more and maximum support to our ongoing reconstruction, rehabilitation and resettlement efforts, and indeed support to the victims of insurgency as well as management of the surrounded Boko Haram terrorists. Happy World Humanitarian Day 2022, and may the Almighty Allah bring peace to Bornosia, bring peace to Northeast Nigeria, Nigeria and the whole world at large. Thank you very much.